Perhaps not uh, working hard enough on my language skills. I told Chipolini to fuck off and get Wilgen, which was probably. Uh, but he, he was taking the piss out of me because I was just riding for this French team, you know, and he was Domino Vacanza and he, he looked at me like a piece of shit. And, you know, I, I just told him to do one, you know. The biggest mistake I made as a Neo Pro trained way too much. Just, I mean, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm a pro now, I gotta train like a pro. And I tried to do training that, you know, a 30 year old pro could do and just shattered myself. <laughs> To say that I lived in Italy for six seasons and three seasons prior to my Neo Pro, my Italian wasn't really good enough to understand the team instructions at times. And, and then um, I remember the year after I was still Neo Pro in 2003 and Tour of Flanders, I had a bit of a run in with Giovanni Lombardi and we're great now. Uh, I don't think he actually remembers this, but I was again. Uh, we'd gone over the Muir, it was before the Bosberg, and I was still in their group. And something happened, and they, again, they started uh, effing French rider, and he thought they thought I was French, so I'd give it to him in my best English accent. So for me, the biggest thing was in Flanders, I remember doing Flanders, and you come out of the cobblestone sections, and then everyone would just stop racing on these wide freeways, and we just be curb to curb. And you could feel the pace change, but you didn't know why it changed. And then we were still curb to curb, but now we were going mock speed, curb to curb. And we go into the first real cobblestone section, and next thing you know, you you never realize that it had switched from off to back on on the speed, and you're at the back, and so the, the cobblestone section is so narrow. You just have to clip out and wait 30 seconds, and then clip back in, and you could go, because the, the bottleneck was so so big there. The road's so small coming from such a big road that you literally just had to clip out for 20, 30 seconds, and then wait, and then clip in. And, and so you started learning really quick when you're young that oh okay it's it's you always have to pay attention there's never a time when you can let up unless of course you know the course but if you don't know the course you always got to pay attention then you kind of had this huge admiration for these older riders you know and you kind of in awe of them a little bit to the point of um, not getting in their way in there. I mean, my first professional race was Tour of Mediterranean and I remember Johan you know, Musa was there Bartali and all this then you just stayed out of the way of them. But uh, that game over game one was a yeah, classic, really. So. I mean, just keep your. I, one bit of advice would be just keep your keep your eyes open. You know, it's you learn so much your first year as a pro that you know it's it changes you as a writer if you if you learn all the lessons from it. Uh, definitely work hard and try and understand the communication of the team. You taught Pippo English then, didn't you? <laughs> Well, I tried to. About that. Yeah, we had a. I got on really well with him actually. Uh, we roomed together in my first pro race, and yeah, he taught me a few words, and I taught him a few words. Still speak to him? When I see him, yeah. Be where the good guys are. <laughs> if you could do that, it's easy. Yeah, be where the good guys are.